Bovine viral di diarrhea, or BVD, is a problem that can hurt your operation's bottom line, something that no producers can afford these days. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Todd McCartney visited this Spring Creek Ranch in Eureka, Kansas to learn more about persistently infected BVD animals and what can be done to prevent and treat the problem in your operation. Head to South Central Kansas and you'll find James Palmer, manager of the Spring Creek Ranch. This ranch is the smallest ranch of three that's within Matador Cattle Company. Matador Cattle Company consists of the Matador Ranch in Texas, which is about 130,000 acres, and the Beaverhead Ranch in Montana that's in excess of 200,000 acres, plus this ranch. So we'll operate about 10,000 cow-calf units plus yearlings. Palmer has worked for the Matador Cattle Company for 32 years and has been on the Kansas Ranch for 12 years. In that time, Palmer says he's learned a thing or two about calves persistently infected with BVD. Persistently infected BVD is a pretty important topic to me, particularly here at the Spring Creek Ranch where we've done a lot of uh, purchase yearlings. About two years ago, we had a set of calves that were raised here on the property that were having a lot of respiratory problems. We did test those calves and found one persistently infected BVD calf in our ongoing calf crop. In the next year, we tested those calves again and started testing all our calves, and we found two persistently infected BVD calves in the, in the calf crop, plus one of our cows. Finding those persistently infected animals caused Palmer to take a closer look at what was happening on his ranch and take action. For Palmer, that included developing a biosecurity plan. To me, biosecurity is, is determining a plan and executing that plan of how I'm going to keep the biological issues that, that could affect my operation off the property or at least out of my herd. So one of the things that, that we're doing and going to do going forward, particularly with our cow herd, we have to protect that. So since we're testing our yearlings, we'll use those as a buffer around the outside of the ranch and move the cow herd inside of the ranch. Hopefully in that way, we can reduce the risk of uh, contamination. Dr. Mac Devon is a senior veterinary consultant with Fort Dodge Animal Health. He says that the steps Palmer has taken are protecting both his animals against the threat of disease and his operations bottom line. Depending on what segment of the beef business you're in, uh, it's been estimated that about 15 to 25 dollars annually per cow is what BVD costs us. But realistically, the entire period of gestation is a period of risk. Probably the most important part of that time is the first 150 days because that's when if a susceptible cow is exposed to BVD, her fetus can then become infected and it in turn exposes other animals in the herd. Well, BVD can cause abortion, uh, it can cause early embryonic death, calves that are exposed in utero uh, after uh, say uh, 200 days may become what we call congenitally infected. So BVD is one of those things it's best to keep out and manage with good biosecurity. Dr. Devon says there are clues a rancher should look for if they're suspicious about BVD PI in their herd. Well, the first thing a producer should do is review their herd records. Is there pregnancy wastage between the time the cows are palpated and the time that they calve? Uh, what's the conception rate? Anything that's abnormal, uh, always look at potential for having animals from another operation mixed with your own. There's a number of people I think have always believed that if they had a persistently infected BVD calf, they could recognize him. It could be an animal that you think is perfectly healthy, could be infecting your herd. Testing is the next step. We will test all of our calf crop every year. If we find additional persistently infected animals within the calf crop. We will probably retest our cow herd. We will continue to test all of our replacement heifers. Then with testing of our purchase cattle, 
and vaccinating all cattle. If you're in the cow-calf business, you need to make sure that you buy bulls from someone who is testing those bulls for persistently infected BVD. Dr. Devon says the easiest way to test for BVD PI is by taking a simple ear notch sample during processing. When we work calves, we basically have our hands on them a couple of times a year. One's at branding and one's at weaning. If we do things at branding that enhance their value at weaning, things like, for instance, implanting with Cinevex implants, uh, deworming with Sidectin dewormer, all those things together increase the value. More weight on the truck at weaning is more dollars in the rancher's pocket. When we're processing, it's important to think about sanitation of anything that touches skin. Ear tag knives, dehorners, castration devices, implant needles, all of those things should be disinfected between animals so that we don't transmit BVD animal to animal. So what do you do if you find a BVD PI animal? Palmer and Dr. Devon agree that it's important to act. One of the key things that you need to remember, and most of the people do it today, but make sure your animals are all individually identified. Because if you find that persistently infected animal, you want to be able to find it and get it out of the herd very quickly. Well, if we find a persistently infected animal, that animal really needs to go out of that population. And realistically, it's not something that we ought to put back into the market. Uh, we don't need to share this problem with somebody else. So it's important to, to be a good neighbor. Dr. Devon says persistently infected calves should be humanely euthanized and properly disposed of, and that adult animals should be sold for slaughter only. So what can a producer do to keep BVD PI out of their herd? Dr. Devon says producers should talk with their local veterinarian to develop a proper vaccination program. Basically, we have two kinds of vaccines that we use for viral diseases in, in cattle, killed and live. Modified live, uh, basically is the most effective product in this situation. And there are three or four products now that are licensed and labeled. It's important for the producer to not just pick any modified live. It's helpful because BVD mutates quite readily. It's important to look at the information that's available on the vaccine and make sure that it protects against type 1A, type 2, and type 1B. Before Dodge offers a product called Pyramid 5 and another product called Pyramid 10, which would include leptose. Those products are labeled to be used in cows while they're open, and the same products can be used cow side and calves nursing pregnant cows at branding time. The best time to immunize your cow herd to prevent BVD PI calves is with a modified live vaccine like Pyramid 5. You should vaccinate 30 to 60 days prior to breeding. We do vaccinate extensively for BVD. I will tell you that for me, it's very important, I think, to vaccinate and test. I think that's the way we're gonna determine the scope of this problem. Developing a solid biosecurity plan, testing and vaccinating new and existing animals on your operation, and working with your local veterinarian are steps every producer can take to prevent and manage BVD PI. They're steps Palmer says he's learned are important over his career in the beef cattle business. I think one of the greatest lessons that I would, I would talk about and try to challenge all producers out there to be aware of what's going on around you and don't think that that won't happen to me. I think too often in our business we believe that a health issue in the herd or a quality issue in the herd only happens to our neighbor. So if I had to point out one lesson that I've learned is that to, to be aware and to challenge yourself. Reporting from Eureka, Kansas, for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, I'm Todd McCartney. Dr. Devin says that your herd can be exposed to BVD PI anywhere, including at the fence line. The doctor recommends monitoring your perimeter and working with your neighbors to prevent the spread of BVD. For more information on proper testing and vaccination programs for BVDPI, visit cattlemantocattlemen.org.